Hello students, welcome to my online class. Today we are going to discuss our second chapter that is type of nouns. Here we will discuss the eight types of nouns. First of all, what is noun? A noun is a word or word group that is used to name a person, place, a thing or an idea. For example, persons like teacher, mother, places like school, woodbridge, mall, things like lamp, book, desk, all these are the examples of nouns. Now here we will see the type of noun. First of all, proper noun. Proper nouns name a particular person, place, thing or idea and begin with a capital letter. For example, here you can see few proper nouns like George Washington, United States of America, love, all these are the examples of proper noun. Now number two, that is common noun. Common nouns name any one of a group of persons, places, things, ideas, and is generally not capitalized. For example, here you can see the words like president, country, movie, religion, all these are the examples of common nouns. Next, the concrete nouns. The concrete nouns name a person, place, or thing that can be perceived by one or more of the senses like photographs, music, sand, Washington monuments. All these are the simple examples of concrete noun. Next, we'll discuss abstract noun. So abstract nouns name an idea, a feeling, a quality or a characteristics. For example, love, fun, wisdom, bravery, all these are the examples of abstract nouns. Next, we will discuss collective noun. A collective noun is a word that names a group like alumni, faculty, committee, team. All these are the examples of collective noun. Next, here we are going to discuss the compound nouns. So, what is compound nouns? So, compound nouns are formed by joining two simple nouns together. For example, here you can see Iceland, brother-in-law, grasshopper. So, two nouns being added into a single word and this type of nouns are known as compound nouns. Then number seven, that is very easy for you, you have earlier studied, that is singular and plural nouns. So you know it very well, singular noun names one person, place, thing or idea. For an example, you can find it out, my pencil is broken. So pencil is a singular noun. Then for the case of plural noun, it says more than one person place think or idea the same example here we can take my pencils are broken in the first example we had seen my pencil is broken the pencil is singular noun and here we can find it out my pencils are broken so there are some irregular rules uh, like man uh, would be men omen omen ox oxen mouse mice goose geese so there are no regular uh, rules to change all these nouns. So you know all the rules are uh, already given in your book. I will suggest to go through the uh, rules and regulations to change from singular to plural. Then some nouns have no singular. There are few nouns that have no singular such as scissors, trousers. Here you can see the examples, many more examples I have given. So all these are 
nouns but it has no singular forms some nouns are always singular there you can see some of these nouns here you can find gold silver wheat gallows news all these are the nouns that are always singular so here you are getting this two type of nouns one that has no singular form and or those are always singular then possessive noun so what is possessive noun a possessive noun shows ownership it uses an apostrophe here you are able to see i think the apostrophe sign here you can find it out the examples the boys basketball team is walking down the hall i borrowed my sister's shirt so boys apostrophe s is given sisters apostrophe s here also it is given so these are the type of nouns that we say possessive nouns so i think this much is pretty much clear to you and all the exercise it is already given to you uh, i will suggest to go through the text very carefully and it will be very much helpful for you so this much for today thank you